And uh, we also have learned, I think more, I think more realistically speaking, Raphael's bed, that is, that is quite a bed. Uh, I think more realistically speaking, we have learned that Raphael is very infatuated with his own image. Got some shandy here. I'm, I'm going to take the devilish. What's that one? That one I can take? Oh, I can't. They're <laughs> different sizes. Yeah, I'm going to take the devilish brandy. I want to I wanna taste that. Oh, right, and this. What can I do with that? In the twisted strokes of the artist's brush, you sense the fragments of a forsaken soul laid out in reds, blues, and yellows. Hmm. Can't do anything about that. No kind of check or anything. What about this button? Oh, this button is for this thing. Raphael bears flame. Uh, difficult check. But we succeed. We critically succeed. We would have passed either way. Huh. And Raphael's safe. And his notes. And a bunch of soul coins. His notes say... The actors have finally reached Baldur's Gate, so I can commence the next stage of my plan. They have learned the Astral Prism's secret. But I will tell them I have the key. The Orphic Hammer... The only thing that can break the prince's chains, the hammer, will be kept safely in the archive, protected by a password. What shall it be? Perhaps give me my heart's desire? I am thinking... in the archive. I am thinking... I, I hate you, Gilladel. I hate you with a deep passion. A magic keyword, she says. That'll, key that'll help us in the archive. Uh, I am thinking this is all too convenient. And this game has taught us its style of, of sort of uh, foreshadowing. And I'm thinking... Better to put the debtor's attire back on. It keeps the locals quiet. Oh, uh, oh because that, I did that already, Gilladel. I did that. Um, a fastidiously perfect outfit. And there's... Oh, a... Big cockit. By cockit? Huh. Yeah, I don't want the sandals. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like a trap to me. Oh, to be nothing. To be gone for good. <laughs> Got some really, really good looking outfits in here. The ones that we have had already, mind you, but still. I'm happy to... Dr oh, I failed that. I'm happy to drag them all the way back out of hell. We have angelic slumber, money, more money, and a bunch of alchemical ingredients that we'll just extract and not get any potions out of. And a lever. Hello! I'm in here now. That's right, I'm robbing. Well, this is the beginning of the robbing, but I'm definitely robbing. Raphael. Yeah. Just some treasure. It wouldn't make up for the 20,000. It's hot. It's cold. It's hot. It's cold. That guy has a fever. We have sweetly tailored outfit. I don't think I've seen that. We got some lovely looking shoes, actually, those. A Lionheart green pink outfit. I definitely haven't seen that. Uh, let me maybe perhaps play the dress up a little closer. Am I not wearing? I am wearing a delicately constructed outfit. That's a different color and a solemnity outfit. Yeah, we've seen these. Hmm. It'd be kind of cool if we found, you know, these are recurring characters just wearing different things throughout the game. Just tell us, uh, you know, that would be that would be a little bit of character character development. We definitely see like Voss getting injuries and things, and you know. Either way, um, yeah, so I want to see what these are. Oh, that looks... That looks really nice. It's these pants that I like. I think I gave Gale... Yeah, it's this thing. The, fa the fa oh, that, that looks so nice, and the color is really beautiful as well. This is the pink one. Uh, it's basically Shadowheart's pink version. I don't, uh, it's too Shadowhearty, because, you know, it's this 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 thing over here. Uh, it's very distinct. It's just it, it's just Shadow Hearts. I it's a shame actually. 
It's a shame that it's like that, but I love that. I love that very much. I may want to give that to... Who, who go... Well, maybe Astarion, actually. We haven't... I haven't given him... I haven't given him anything in terms of uh, new clothing. Because I, I, I do enjoy his, his camp clothes quite a lot. But... But, yeah, I... Um, the Quarta Rune. Quarta? This game does, does love its Portuguese, so it could be fourth. This book is the redolent and smelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? An excerpt from the Quarta Rune, a guide to sexually... A, no, to sexuality, eroticism, and emotional fulfillment. Detailed diagrams accompany every page. On your journey to sensual alignment, treat each passionate encounter as a dance. Your movements should flow from one to another like a river through the mountains. For instance, it would be likely, or it would likely be uncomfortable for you and your partner or partners to move immediately from the bugbear bend into the underdark choke. Instead, after strenuous positions, gentler ones such as threading the weave or transitive plane are encouraged. It is also important to treat your partner partner scare post-encounter as the final step of, of, to this dance. Recipes for scented oils for exhausted muscles, tea blends for sore throats, and massage tips can all be found in later chapters. That's very comprehensive. Yeah, what are these things? They're just faucets. Oh, they're restoration things. Which means, actually, I think they replenish my spell slots. Yes, they do. So, mage armor. And restore. Does this mean... Oh, and a banana. I'll take the banana. But does this mean that... Um, there's a lot of fruit here. That we will be facing... He anybody here? I wouldn't think so. It probably means that if that fight is too difficult for us, that at least we have a little bit of a reprieve. Because I remind you, I don't believe we can go back home and right now at all. Uh, even if we go back. Gilladel did say we had a portal. But I don't know about that. I haven't looked at it. It's quite the encounter. I'm just gonna just lay on the bed there. Just to see if anything happens and nothing does. Okay. And we have other things to look at. Perhaps not least of it, of which the hatch that goes to the prison. Oh, hi. You belong in there. In the boudoir. You should never leave. I have left. Let's look around a little bit more. What is that? Something over there. Inert infernal gem. Wisdom check. Infernal control gem. Arcana check. A difficult one. I do succeed though. Oh, it's just a lot of treasure. Don't look. Don't look. There's the person saying woof, but actually roof. The Staff of Spell Power. Gail, you're gonna love this. Oh, yeah. Helldusk Dusk Helmet. 666 coins, which is... Uh, everybody knows the number 666 is the number for... Uh, it's the weed number. That's what that is. And uh, contract for mall? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, no. That's why she hasn't appeared. Oh, that's bad. I can't use that. Oh, it's a use item. A plain unadorned note. Yeah, but I can't read that. I'm going to put it in a teddy bear. What is the quest update, then? We found the contract mall signed with Raphael to escape the Absolute's clutches. It would take it... If we take it to her, any debt she owes Raphael can be eliminated. Oh, she's underground, isn't she? Is she underground? I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, so we have a staff of spell power plus one bonus 
to save these seas. So we already have the Marco Cheshire over here, which is pretty awesome. Let's uh, select Gale so we can compare things directly. We also have the Arcane Battery still. Oh, it's just a lower version of that. Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely, lovely stuff, but put it over there. As for this thing, you can see in magical and ordinary darkness up to a range of 12 meters. You cannot be blinded. The Willer has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells, and it's a prevent all criticals kind of a kind of helmet, which would be better. I'm just getting all, all of us getting uh, magical helmets. <laughs> Uh, but it would be better than potentially the other helmet that I have that's made out of a damantine. Because that one doesn't have any special effects. It's a good thing I am looking around because I definitely did not see that. And of course we have this door, which is Raphael's archive. And I do want to go there. So let's go into the hatch. The camera moves so slowly for some reason. When you're far away. Oh, it's because it's moving at our speed rather than the camera speed. Uh, yeah, we're going down there. I assume that is the same thing as the other hatch. But we need to transform to d go down into the hatch. So let's do this this way. There's a button. This is Hope's Prison. Oh, it's literally Hope's Prison. Or is it just the prison? Because we know Hope, or I assume Hope is down here. I don't know if she's... Follow you all if you take another step. And you won't be able to see me while you're being digested! You find my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. Presumably, you intend to chew through the chains, cracking your teeth like eggshells. It won't work! The hammer is the only thing capable of shattering the chains. Um, I'll go find it. Not here, you won't, you blundering cricket! <clears throat> it's in the archive. When you remove it, the whole house will go up in flames. Raphael will fly home furious. Uh, I'll make sure I'm ready. Ready for Raphael's homecoming? Ah, he'll use you as a handkerchief. No, no, no. Don't listen to me. You're going to do just fine. I'll be waiting. Like, I have a choice. Mm-hmm. So we shouldn't do this first, is what she's saying. Okay. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try the other little exit. The passageway. Oh, did I actually... I thought it was uh, that was for animals. Did I actually try that? I don't know that I did. Let's give it a shot. Save the game. Obviously. Because if that's where Maul is, then I definitely don't want to leave here without her. Well, it's where things are. There's a spectator. An aggressive one at that. Wait, what? There's a petrified debtor here. Uh, I think... Mm. Imprisoned in body, mind, and soul. A heavy price for whatever deal she struck. Hmm. This one appears to have won a taste of freedom just before they died. I think... Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. There's not much green down here, Jahira, I'm afraid. I think she has access to... Flesh to stone. Oh, sorry. Stone to flesh. Or was that... Was that Greater Restoration? Yeah, yeah, Greater Restoration takes care of that. So, let's do that. Dang it. <laughs> just how it'd be sometimes, you know? You're just uh, murdering people. Where are we, though? Oh, we're still in Hope's Prison. Okay. So, sh uh, so first off. Yeah, shift C. Press G. These are definitely aggressive. Oh, these are... Oh, she's there. Oh, right, 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 right. I, I think I should kill these first. 
her situation. And I don't want to throw around accusations, but where is the hammer, you tremendous dolt? <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, yeah, well, there's a couple of spectators, which is which are a problem. But I think more of a problem is the fact that they're looking this way. And I can't really do much. But this is definitely... I can't do much because uh, cause people move. Yeah, we're not going to be able to destroy these. But destroying the these... Or we're not going to be able to destroy whatever that is. We can't even right-click and see. But we should be able to kill the... the the spectators. And for that... 90%. Is it outside my range? Yes, it is. 95. Okay. We should be okay. They're level 8. Yep. Don't crit. Oh. Also didn't want to do the, du the dual wielding, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for right now. I will bring Giladel around a little and not end your turn. You should be capable of doing Symbiotic Entity because you're not doing that right now, are you? She's... Unseen. She does leave her turn. I... Curious. Target is too far. I can't teleport her. She goes last. That's normal. I'd love to, thanks. Cadillac doesn't go last. Halfling essence. But I will. Time for a soft touch. Yeah, there it is. Quiet. But I will make her jump in there. Oh, I should have done the the extra jump. Does she actually have her turn right now? It takes a little while. She does. Critical hit, and that means she can attack a little bit more. Let's do this. Reckless critical miss. She missed. Oh, that actually sucks. Okay. Let's move you over here. Oh, I didn't kill that. That's what this is for. It's going well. Are we actually going to level up? I think we're going to level up. Let's uh, get her out of there. Or as as well as we can. This really isn't my forte. It's fine, Gail. Don't worry about it. Because that is the next... The next thing. What can I do... To... Welcome its presence. A firewall would be interesting. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, come on, Gale. Immune to fire damage. Okay, a firewall would not be interesting. Remove that. He's also not in combat. She's lovely. Um, I'm very smart. Uh, don't worry about it. I have Call Lightning that adds... Uh, that goes to other enemies. No, that, that's like a permanent thing. Let's go and do that. I think I killed another... I killed two of them. Yeah, so there were both vengeful imps. That, that works for me. Still on my feet. And uh, you're going to stay there. You're going to stay there. And we are... Oh, there's another one. Eldritch Blast. A shame. Uh, I can't see very well. This is the easy part. Oh, it's our turn now. I don't fancy their chances. That was pretty bad. Oh wait, don't you have revive? No, that's only. Target is too far. She is not. Hmm. That was that was bad. That was really bad. And this thing has not even come here. Let's do magic missile on high levels. Target is too far. You are such a liar. It shall be done. 
Wait, can you resurrect her from here? No. All right. We can pull this off. All of the spells. Not a kill. But that shouldn't be a problem because we have cantrips and... Nope, not cantrips. Oh, ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need to jump? This. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to be able to... What are you immune to? Poison, right. Not, not bone shield. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, really not great. But, you know, um, just, uh, yeah. Can't reach the target. I can sneak, though. Quiet. Move with care. Can't reach destination. Well, so, much for so you do need to jump. On my way. Or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I use my bonus action? Yes, I did. Okay. I can't... Yeah, not being able to cast a spell with my action is kind of a bummer. You should be able to. But you can't. So, that's that. Counterspell that's Eldritch Blast. Let's counterspell that. We've already had enough trouble from that, as it is. And Jahira, is that our turn? No, it is not. Uh, hmm. So, Bone Shield? Can I do that to you? Yes. A reasonable amount, but this is the biggest problem, because these things petrify us. Or paralyze us, as it turns out. And do a bunch of damage. Okay, now you bring Jahira out. Somewhere. Right here. Are you not... not na oh, we leveled up. She's not naked. So, because, you know, she died and lost her all of her equipment. She is... She does have a bonus action, though, so I will drink that. Oh, does she not? I don't think she does. Oh, it's not her turn. That's what's going on. Yeah, uh... What are you immune to? Nothing. Let's go. Not enough movement? Okay, that then. That should apply. Yes, it does. Into position. Yeah, I don't know what that not enough movement situation was. The game does that a lot though, don't worry. Oh, and you cue the drinking of the potion, which is really interesting. I didn't realize that. Uh, let's go for a critical. And didn't mean to do the two-handed, but it doesn't matter. That's another critical. And that's that. Fuck yes. And Karlak goes in. Doesn't get hit by whatever this thing is. Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh, lucky. Protect Giladel. Paralyze Gale again. Critical hit on Karlak. She's still up, though. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Do I have... I don't need... Yeah, I just need to kill this thing. And now Bone Shield. She doesn't matter too much. And that's that. And Giladel will be able... Oh, not Tool will... I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting about that. There we go. <sighs> oh, you're still paralyzed. I'm sorry, Gail. But we are level 12. We are level 12. We have Burnished Ring. Yeah, I just didn't want to kill these things while the house is burning. This adds Paralyzing Ray. I don't like Ray. We have Vengeful Imp. We have another spectator with money. Also don't like money. Well, technically it's gold. Whatever, sue me. Hmm. Can I go there? I can't. I need to go through here. Yep. 
that imp is, is... These imps are weird. <laughs> I think they're like that because they're not supposed to fall off the ledge. It's just a little bit of physics as a treat. It's hard to say if this sorry soul's demise should be mourned or celebrated as a release from whatever torment they were forced to endure. Insightful, narrator. This one's suffering is forever enshrined in the harrowing arrangement of its bones. Mm -hmm. A petrified debtor. Impossible to tell how long she's been there, but likely longer than she deserved. Mm -hmm. Tortured to death or starved. In any case, definitely dead. And definitely not plastic, I think. Importantly. Very importantly. Okay. Yeah, I think this is an easier way to do this fight. That's basically going through there. I'm gonna talk to you, Hope, though. I understand that this is a high-pressure situation. And I don't want to throw around accusations, but where is the hammer, you tremendous dolt? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a good line. That is a, that first line. It's sort of I sort of missed it uh, on uh, when the, when it first happened. But yeah, let's continue looking around. I assume there's no way to save the petrified debtors. Basically. All right, now let's go take a bath. Here we are. Let's go. And that. R does not replenish our short rests. I... Okay. So it may not replenish our once per rest items either. Which I may, may have used uh, thinking that they would get replenished. But I don't actually know. I, th I definitely thought about it. Definitely thought about using it. But, um, but yeah. Oh, we can take the chamber pot? No, no, we can't. We just can't touch it. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna take. I was definitely gonna take uh, take his chamber pot. I want him to not be able to poop, cause uh, hmm. cause I'm sure that's what would happen. There's an archivist and a librarian. Oh, but it's a debtor, right? Oh, we have another person. Are they masquerading as Raphael? They may. I don't think he's masquerading as Raphael. Is it okay for me to be here? You're looking at me. Why is there a sound of a... There were, there were sounds. Is it these things? Yeah. A guest? Are you a client of the master or a visitor from elsewhere in the hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor schedule. Hmm. Hmm. His eyes flicker back and forth as if he is reading a book. He has the schedule memorized, or it's carved into his eyelids. Hmm. Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. Well. Um, any are there any highlights in the collection? A fine pair of gauntlets that allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts. Hmm. Most invigorating. And awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities, just as surely a shit gathers flies. And of course, the Orphic Hammer itself is the prize of the collection. Hmm. Well, um, I just, I just wanted to explore, really. Be my guest. Even if you're not scheduled for an appointment, this is a civilized place. As long as you don't remove any of the artifacts, nobody will remove your skin. Unless Master Raphael decides otherwise, of course. Yes, I understand. Have you met Hope, by the way? Yes. Nasty little gadfly. 
I'd swat her if the master wasn't so fond of tormenting her. Gods, I hate the hells. Mm hmm. Well, I'm not going to tell him that uh, I've come for the hammer. I will, however, wash everybody because 